using me to cut them and scissors yes uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple evil dance simple evil dance prop and um, my channel please subscribe to my channel on this channel we do a lot of African things a lot of entertaining things a lot of interesting things and so much more please subscribe to my youtube channel share comment like let me know what you think about what we're doing yes once again i'll be making a simple evil dance prop the evil people are the evil people of nigeria are the, they're from the eastern part of nigeria and if you're conversant with them you will notice that each time they dance they hold uh something like a fan okufe it is called okufe but um i want to show you today the simplest way to make it very simple and easy way so when you're using it to dance you just enjoy yourself and it's homemade so you'll be needing um, patterns like this a circular two circular patterns like this i use the cotton so you will be needing something like this you will be needing a stick you will be needing a gum scissors to cut the patterns and the piece of fabric this is an african fabric you will be using it to beautify the um cotton by the time we are through so first and foremost you get the stick like this look for the center of the wood put it take the measurement make sure it's okay um yes it's okay it can go so we're going to this stick is a little bit long i took 10 inches but it's a little bit long it's supposed to be um a lot more shorter but we're going to use this like this but when doing yours, you can make it uh, shorter than this, okay? So, that's that. Now, I'll use this gum. Rub on the spot where the stick will be. So, to hold it to the... Like this. You can use um, a piece of nail to hit on this to make it stronger, whichever one you prefer. But I'm just showing you how to do it. You can use a piece of nail, hit it to the stick and nail it so it can be stronger. But when doing that, make sure you also look for something to cover it here so it doesn't hurt you. So, but this is just um, a very simple way of doing it. And you take this and rub all over the cotton everywhere all over the cotton while you're doing this you also press this down so it can be coming staying glued to the cotton you take this and place over it. Mm -hmm. Like I told you, this stick is really long, long. But we're going to use it like that. Down so they can all be glued together. Now we're through. Yes, we're through. Just very simple. Less than how many minutes and we're through. But you need to beautify it a little. So we're going to cut the same shape of this and put it so it can be done. So we're going to take this was the um, stuff I use in getting that shape so we're going to take it and uh, cut from the material 
like this. Can I get this? Thank you. Just draw a circular. You can, you can, when dancing, you can hold two, you can hold one. It just depends on the kind of dance you're doing and what you really want. Cut another one, similar pattern. Leave it in another one. This is enter or even from the light bit. Here we are, two, and uh, <coughs> to make it neat, you can fold the edges. To make it neat, you can actually fold the edges um, to make it very neat. Don't fold the edges, but if you can also use it like this, it's a costume and it's beautiful. Now there, some there are also varieties. After doing this, some add wool to it. So as you're moving it like this, the wool is moving. But we're just going to do this without the wool. It can also still work. So you use the gum round the stick You see, I'm closing up the edges.
So we are through. Easiest way to make an evil dance prop okufe. Okufe is used in most of the dances in from Ibo land, from Ibo Nigeria, Eastern land. Most of the dances. It's a major dance prop. Sometimes if they don't want to use this, they use the handkerchief, but um, this is more common among the evil people. The use of this dance prop is more common. So you can, you can, if you're a teacher, if you're a cultural teacher in your school, you can use this as a hand handcraft exercise for your pupils or students. You know, just make them creative, make them be able to create their own. You know, look, and we're through. And it's just very simple, very easy. And now we're done, we just keep it to dry. And here we are. We have so you need another little piece like this to cover the cloth to make it beautiful, more beautiful. You can leave it like this if you want, but to make it more beautiful, you just have to cover it like this. See the difference? Uniform. So we're just going to rub this gum all over it again. Measurement of the stick. A bit of allowance. Let's rub this gum. I'm rubbing the gum on the cloth to make it gum together. a craft you know they will love it and when they are through they can show it off you can also use it uh, instead of buying your costumes and props you can actually make them yourself save costs it's very easy just cut on a stick and a gum very easy very simple very cheap inexpensive the cost all you need for this is just the cotton stick and the piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. it's very simple. Then of course gum, scissors, just very easy, less expensive but very beautiful, very creative. So instead of buying in the market, you just make your make yours at home, make yours in the school. Teach them something new, something different. Yours should be definitely neater than mine. You know, should be definitely neater than mine. I'm just showing you how to do it. So here we are. We have our Igbo dance prop. It is called, you know, usually it's like a hand fan. We call it okufe. Okufe. It's like a hand fan. This is it. Very lovely. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Please remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, and most importantly, please make yours and tag me. Let me know what to do. You can send it as an email just to 